he got robbed, Frank. No, it's like kissing your mother-in-law. Needs this for par. He's made it. There's two holes left here at Banff Springs, and Frank, another par for this one, uh, short, 374 yards. It is. It's, it's named Sasi, which is a tribute to the Indian tribes here and the First Nations of, uh, of Canada. So uh, just think about that when you tee it off here on, on what is not an overly difficult par four. Good strike, good lie. Good chance to attack the pin. Ready for a second shot, trying to knock it on the green. Wow, what a shot. Doesn't even need the putter. Frank, as we make our way to the house, a chance here at the 17th, just 374 yards a chance. For a birdie. It certainly is. Anytime you see a hole today under 400 yards of par four, that is, you know you're going to get a short on your iron. Short, you know you're going to get a short iron in your hand if you hit a good tee shot. Just avoid the bunkers left and right off the tee. Um, green does slope back to back back to front, so it pitches nicely towards you, making that second shot of anything a little easier. Second shot coming up here at the par five. Uh, it's as good as it's going to get. There's going to be no worries about making that one. Frank, how rare would this be if this putt drops? Well, this is, this is uh, I'd like to say once in a lifetime, but on the odd occasion, we do see back-to-back -back eagles, but it certainly is something to watch. So all the scores have been posted for round number two, and look who is on top of the leaderboard, Frank. Yeah, with two very solid rounds of golf. Uh, key right now, just stay out of your own way and keep it up. Uh, the pressure will start to build. We know that as you get closer to the end of this tournament. This is EA Sports coverage of the PGA Tour. Today, it's live third round coverage of the Mountain Shootout. To where the hole is cut today, this is about a 200 yard shot. Appears to be what they call a commercial play. Very solid. This hole really sets up well for the player. Birdie yesterday, and a chance for another one today. 
really not much to this. The only issue would be a lack of concentration or focus. I thought that was in. Yeah, it looked good. I mean, line, pace, it's hard to be critical of that. So just a formality here. Nothing wrong with that par putt. Back on the tee here at Banff Springs, fifth hole, 424 yard par four. What's the setup here, Frank? Well, it's very tempting to try and hit a draw because uh, that's the way in which the hole is shaped. But uh, the main the main goal is to make sure that you can take that second bunker, the one on the left side, out of play with that tee shot. Getting set for this next shot from the rough, what does the player need to be careful of here, Frank? Well, this is where we're going to see exactly how good they are because, you know, that's not exactly the best lie, but it's sort of doable if, if you know what you're doing. Well, that is an exceptional shot on the green and in position for a birdie. Yeah, it's a full melody now. Just five feet left. So the dominant performance continues. Yeah, we're watching two tournaments right now, the one at the top and the rest. Frank, as we arrive here at the par four sixth hole, reasonably short at 373 yards, a lot of golfers arrive at a, a hole like this and they'll think, well, I'm just gonna blast it away because it's such a short four. You think these kinds of holes require a little more thinking? They certainly do, Rich. If you can't drive it to the front edge of the green, there's no point really trying to hit it through that narrow neck. You can just sort of knock a three wood down there or something that's going to give you a decent yardage where you can at least spin that second shot. If you can guarantee that ball's going to stop when it lands, it's going to be much easier than trying to fashion some sort of pitch and run. Well, that's how you play the game, right there. Makeable putt right here, currently sitting at one under for the round. Well, that was a tricky one, but it's in. Well, Frank, this is the longest hole on the golf course, 602 yards, obviously a par five, though. But Guys like Rory have to be thinking about making an easy four, getting home in two. Yeah, you, you referenced it. Longest hole on the golf course. Yet yeah, Rory McIlroy still reached it in two.
a beautiful swing, and the result is every bit as good. Just blasted that tee ball, Frank. Now from a good position in the fairway, his second shot. There's a big green, and they're going to use every inch of it. He's making the game look very simple right now. See it, hit it, and he's got it right on track. Getting set now over the putt. Oh, yes, that's an eagle. There you have it. Round three is finished, and it was a good one, Frank. Yeah, after three rounds in, uh, you really could start to see who could take home the trophy when it's all said and done. Great play, though, up until this point. Uh, round four should be an absolute thriller. Today's coverage brought to you by EA Sports and the PGA Tour. Today it's live final round coverage of the Mountain Shootout. Frank, looking out here on the 15th hole, th this looks like a spot where you could really crank one that you could tell your buddies about. It's another hole that suits a player that hits the ball right to left. It's no surprise to uh, see why Rory McIlroy plays well around here. Nice, big, high towering draw. It's gonna go that extra yardage because of the elevation. Come on, that's not even human. That's ridiculous. That is 350 plus yards. Frank, I'm always fascinated by the way professionals approach the game and how different it is from us amateurs. You're not just standing up and hitting a shot, hoping to catch it on the middle of the face. You're thinking about low or high, left to right or right to left. Yeah, there's two schools of thought, really. You're either, either moving the shot away from something or towards something. So this is a great example here. You could be moving the ball away from the left side of the green, but closer towards the flag. That's how you keep a round going. Make them from that distance. Frank, the 16th hole, 414 yards, par four, is nicknamed GOAT. Would, would that be greatest of all time, or is it just because the possibility you, you could see old Billy out there here in the Canadian Rockies? Uh, I'd like to think it's the, uh, the greatest of all time. Uh, I've never seen a GOAT hit a draw, that's why, and that's what's needed off this tee once again. The first bunker, you should easily be able to carry that, and, uh, well, if you're the greatest of all time, this is a fairway, you'll certainly hit. I have this at about 125 yards. Oh, solid strike right in the heart of the green. And it is in. Amazing. Amazing. 